this is Harry Judd for Boxing Social. In association with Betfred, we're here at the Dalton Swift and Sam Mason. It's weigh-in day here in Sheffield, but I'm joined by the one and only Ebony Bridges. How are we? I'm good, thank you. Talk to me about this, this card. I mean, there's some exciting next-gen fights on this bill. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's really exciting. I'm glad to be here and watch that. You know, I'm always really excited about the up-and-coming prospects. We've got some great fights on the card and really looking forward to seeing the outcomes. One of the top fights on this bill is Sandy Ryan. Yeah. Back for redemption. Your thoughts on that one? Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Um, I just feel a different energy from Sandy. I feel like she's coming to this fight um, a, a lot different, more mature, I think, more maybe mentally mature. Um, I think the last fight she came in, in my opinion, a little bit, I don't know, a little, cocky's not the word, but you know what I mean, coming out, fresh fighter, like coming in, over, maybe a bit overconfident, maybe underestimating her, you know, opponent who, remember, is a two times ex world champion. Um, but, you know, everyone's like, she's older, she's ex champion. You know, you gotta, you gotta still give them the respect, right? And um, I think she's come in here, she's, she's realized the last fight. And I reckon she's gone back and she's learned from it. And I expect to see a big difference in Sandy in this fight. And um, I'd be very surprised if she doesn't come through with the win. And I think if she doesn't win, then they need to take a step back and they need to progress her a bit slower. And it's great, hats off to her for taking these kind of fights against these kind of caliber champions at the beginning of her career, because it is a huge step up. Um, forget the amateur pedigree, because this is the pros. So you got to um, take your hat off to that. And she would have learned a lot from it, and I'm looking forward to it. Talk to you about yourself, what, what's going on with Everly Bridges at the moment? Yeah, not much, just training and waiting for a date. Um, potential fight with Shannon O'Connell, your thoughts on that one? Um, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Um, I have to talk to Eddie and my manager about that one, yeah. Um, as far as I know, I've got a voluntary defence next and she's a mandatory, so I'm going to have to fight her at one point, but I'm not sure if it's next or not. Uh, would you look back uh, for Shannon Courtney, is that a fight you'd be interested in? Yeah, of course, you know, I would love to get her now and yeah, beat her properly. And Rachel Ball, um, just had a baby, she's coming back. Is that a possible fight for you as well? I mean, you've got to ask Rachel that, she's just had a baby. I mean, all possible fights, I'll fight anyone, but my main focus is getting the belts. You haven't mentioned any of the champions. So yeah, my main focus is getting the belts and becoming unified. And then finally then, uh, one of the big fights in women's boxing is Clarissa Shields with Anna Marshall. Just your thoughts on that one? Yeah, I think um, I'm leaning towards Clarissa Shields on that one. I think, um, but it, I do believe it's one of those fights that we really need to see because it's a clash of styles and um, it's like can can um, Savannah land clean enough to hurt Clarissa because Clarissa is so slick or can you know Clarissa just be too kind of slick and sharp and too much work rate to just beat her on points so we'll see. How big is that fight for women's boxing in your eyes? I think it's huge yeah it's big it's right up there with the um, with the Serrano Taylor fight, but I think it's a little bit bigger in the sense that there's actually a real rivalry here when there's a real rivalry and they're in you know, the same weight and stuff and they've got this ongoing rivalry, I think it makes it a bit of a bigger fight.